if you go to settings, edge compute, and turn on edge compute features, there's a whole other world inside Portainer. <laughs> it's like, in all honesty, it's like, it, it should be. It a, should be. In, right. Yeah, it could have been a product. It could have been a standalone product, but you just made it a, a checkbox. Yeah. Because why not? Huh? Um, yeah. Again, I come back to to blame myself for a, um, a large number of our challenges, and this is one of them. So once you turn on Edge Compute, you get this whole new sidebar option. And yeah, you know, here you have the ability to manage uh, Portainer Edge environments. Now, if you come back to an environment and we add one, um, any of these environments, if I just say Docker Standalone as an example, we have this Edge agent, uh, standard and asynchronous. And the difference between the Edge agent and our regular agents is we need no connectivity between Portainer and the Edge agent. As long as the edge agent can connect back to me, to Portainer, and that's your instance of Portainer, we're not a SaaS company, but as long as that edge agent can get to the Portainer instance, you can manage it from Portainer. So it doesn't need direct routing or anything else as long as the agent can get back. So once, once you have some edge agents, you can actually start to, to group them and you can actually say, I want to create a group of devices either statically. Again, you wouldn't do that in reality or dynamically and you can associate tags to your remote environments. And these are some tags I've created. You can say that these are my Docker hosts, my AMD 64. It could also be my production line number one. It could be my cameras. You can create tags. And then we will automatically add environments, remote environments to the group based on tag matching. All They must have all the tags or they must have some of the tags. And so once you've created a group, you can now say, I want to create an application deployment. So add a stack, Docker or Kubernetes, Git or otherwise, and I want to deploy it to that group. So now we will go and say, take this deployment and deploy it to all of the devices in that group, either concurrently or staggered. So I can say, do a, do a staggered rollout, number of devices or exponential. So deploy them all. I can pre-pull images if they've got slow connections. I can go and do an image pull on them first and then deploy. And I can actually then start to go and mass deploy and manage those applications on those remote devices. Um, you can even, if I turn on things like, like GitOps here, you have GitOps enabled to these hundreds or thousands of devices. And you can do things like, actually, I want to do relative paths and I actually want to Git clone some files onto these remote devices. So if you wanted to have some some environment variables or some some files on the remote device for a bind mount, you can actually git clone them and will propagate them out there. You can push configuration files out to the remote device. So if you have a zip file or a tar file with some configurations, you can actually go and propagate them and push them out to these devices. You can run a bash script on these devices. So if you want to do a Docker update or an operating system upgrade or just do something, you can say, that run this bash file on this device or these group of devices at this time, it'll go and run them. Now, you can do things like edge configurations where you can say, hey, I need you to copy some files and you know, here's, here's a package, a tar file. Go and take the contents of this tar file, copy it to all devices in this group and put them into this folder, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. Put it into this, into this directory on the remote device. Or you can say, actually, inside this tar, this tar file, there's a bunch of directories. And I want to, you know, for each device, go and grab the device's identity, match it to the folder in the tar file, and put the contents of that folder onto the device and then iterate that. And so that's a really cool way of copying files to remote devices. And then we have a waiting room, which just allows you to onboard thousands of devices in a really safe and easy way into Portainer. So this is, they're the edge features. It's, you know, there's a lot more, but you know, that's the edge features in a nutshell. Yeah. You know, edge alone is a completely separate one hour talk.